Two douchebags on a couch. One's an asshole, one's a grouch. And relentless, oh, Live from Venice, this is Talking Shit with Jim and Eddie. I'm Jim Jeffries, I'm here with Eddie Ift and... Our new sidekick, we have fired Jason Hour of Power. He is no longer with the show. He lost the tart off, it was only fair. Please welcome to the show... Treadwell. Treadwell. Treadwell Wiley. Uh, and now, do you like being part of the show? Oh yeah, it's the best thing I've going on in my life. Now, that used to be Jason's best thing, if you remember last episode. <laughs> and do you like living on the couch now? Oh, it's been amazing. I can't believe this whole entire couch you made have made out of vaginas. I, sorry, I'm trying to be more like the, your old roommate. What's his name again? He, he never talked about vagina, mate. Jason never talked about vagina. And also, his name means nothing to us anymore. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead to us. But you're all here because you're not like him. Oh, good, good, good. Well, then, I don't really care about stealing this man's job. Jim? Get Jason back. Yeah, we want Jason back. Really? Yeah, goodbye, Treadwell. Sorry. Goodbye. Okay. okay, that was our little practical joke. Obviously, uh, we could never get rid of our friend, housemate, sponge, <laughs> Jason Hour. Are you still with us, mate? Yeah, I'm here, buddy. He was worried, though, last week. I have to say, last week's episode, if you listened, uh, at the end of it, when we had the tart... It wasn't tar our best episode. How We had a tart off between Jason, Hour of Power, and uh, Paul Provenza's friend, Treadwell. And uh, Jason... His name wasn't Treadwell. It was... Tr I'm not... <laughs> Trenton. I, I yeah, no, 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 no. I want him stricken from the record. Wow. <laughs> you didn't like him. Why? Mm, he really freaked me out. How did you know you didn't like him? What was the indicator? Well, the first indicator is Noosa. What do you mean? Your dog... If Like, Wait a minute. three people come in the room, and two of them, she's like, oh, hi, how you doing? And then the, that dude, she's just like viciously hates. But did she try to bite she, him? She was snarling at him everywhere. Usually, you know, she'll bark at someone when they come to the door and then after they greet or she sniffs them, no, wait, but she's hold calm. On, hold on. Let me ask you a question, though. Doesn't Noosa also go after homeless people, Mexicans, and kids? He had yeah, a sleeping yeah. bag. <laughs> <laughs> he brought a sleeping bag was to the show. Was he carrying around a sleeping bag? Because he, yeah, he, he was. chops, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah. So he had a sleeping bag with him. He also held these pants up with a, yeah. with a shoelace. Yeah, if, you, if you're hearing all this conversation right now, you have to listen to last week's episode, uh, which Jim says is well, not also the Also, the guy was at the front of this episode. Yeah. So and, we we and recorded Treadwell, last yeah. week. We recorded that little and, joke. And Treadwell, uh, he, he's gone, and uh, we don't know where he is, but... Jason, we, we, you were you were angry. He's sleeping was on like, a couch it, made of vaginas. It was like kryptonite, you know. Honestly, I felt like my powers were gone when he was here. I just like was sucked. And what dead. powers do you have? I just Jason? wanted to ask that question so much. <laughs> what powers was he kryptoniting up? I mean, uh, not any powers, any specifically, but like that personality yeah, invisibility. Yeah, yeah, that 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 uh, the idea of like if if I were Superman, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that he was like. The antithesis of... He was Lex Luthor. He kill, no, he was actually the kryptonite. Not, can, can, I, can I tell you what really happened? What? Because I know this. When, when I am somewhere... And being a professional stand-up comedian, no, right. and that's, and, that's, that's not proven. And, 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 you, <laughs> and you're there, like at a party or something, and some guy comes in, and he's the funny guy. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. he starts being funny. Yeah. And everybody's like, look at him. He's funny. He's crazy. He's wacky. And he's like putting shit on his head. And he's like, look at me. And people are like, hey, he's funny. Don't you think he's funny? I completely shut down. I do as well. And yeah. I become almost anti-funny. Like, I, I want to show that I have nothing in common with this man whatsoever. <laughs> and I think that's what Jason did because we build him up like this crazy retard like Jason. Mm. And Jason was like, I'm going to be so normal. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He made me normal. That's that's what happened. It's terrible. You did not want to It stresses me out. No, I almost like started applying for a job. I, I, like, <laughs> 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 no, you're less force crazy. You're you're the real deal. I will vouch for that. That Jason Hour is is the real article. Of J Jason and I had a moment once where I think it was the craziest. Oh, I've I remember been. when you both kissed. No, uh, <laughs> no, it was we went to see a movie. What was it called? The it was Sh Sean Love Penn. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, the, it was that whistleblower movie that was Sean Penn and uh, the, where his wife was the CIA guy. Oh, uh, Milk. No. <laughs> That's an excellent choice. Yeah, but whatever it was, it was a political. You're film. speaking more like Bill and Ted every week. 
That was an excellent choice. No, that was the other one where he played the mentally disabled individual trying to raise oh, a daughter. I am Sam. That's an, yeah, I am Sam. Yeah, I am Sam has a great soundtrack. I am anyway, Jay, I am Jay Sam. It does. They do yeah, covers, no, it's all Beatles, covers yeah. of Beatles songs. They have Neil Finn and Liam Finney's son singing the two of us together. And Pete Yorn Amazing. sings a song across the universe. I, uh, um, no, that's a different thing. Uh, having Nick Cave singing "Let It Be." It's an amazing album. Pete, Yorn, but Pete Yorn's it, on that too. I yeah, like Pete yeah, Yorn. yeah. It's an amazing album. Uh, but Jason and I had a political conversation. <laughs> On the way, we had to go to the valley to meet I some I think we girls. talked about this once. And we had, we had, no, we didn't. We had a conversation. I know we didn't because okay, this has here. been, this has always been in my head that I want to bring it out. We started talking politics and about conspiracy and the way politicians work. And Jason always takes the super liberal route. I'm, sure. I'm usually liberal until Jason goes there and then I have to jump on the conservative bandwagon. I, I go either way, yeah. depending on the topic. Well, Jason started to tell me his political knowledge and it was he was explaining how the corporations and the government are controlling everything and they're fucking the man and they're fucking me and they're fucking you and I. And he was explaining how they all work. And I said, you have no fucking idea what you're talking about right now. You're just spewing shit right now. And he goes, I used to work in politics. <laughs> <laughs> when did you work in politics? When I was in the church. Yeah, but that's not... No, no explain. No, 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 no. When I was it in... It might the, have been political, but it wasn't no, politics. No, no, no. When I was in the church... My, I had two roommates at one point. Yeah, yeah, they because were, all politicians have roommates. No, 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 no. These guys, these <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah. I, I, I hear fucking Obama and the no, vice these, president share a these bunk These guys, bed. these guys, one managed one councilman's office and the other managed, they were, they were managers. They were political. They weren't the actual politicians. They were the behind the scene guys. And because I was in church with them, they let, they let me move in and stay in their house. Right. <laughs> Do you see the pattern? Wait a second. Uh, anyways. All right. All right, all right leave all right. it. It's like a hanging curve. But uh, you'd have to be a hundred to do all these things. <laughs> no, I really did. I really is it, weird stuff, man. So those two guys, there were one of them is actually now like a congressman or something like oh, that. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah, yeah. I'll bet. I'll show you who he is. I don't yeah, want to talk about it on oh, the show. I've seen his naked oh, picture on Craigslist. You're not going to say his name? I don't. Yeah, I really don't want to involve myself with that. Mm. Why so, is it? Is it? I just don't want to make enemies in the world. You know? Oh, and, well, what about Trenton? <laughs> That's different. <laughs> Trenton's your nemesis. <laughs> he better not come into yeah, Venice Trent, ever again. Trenton, if he sit, goes skateboarding past the fucking coffee shop, oh, oh it's going to be like the opening scene from West Side Story. <laughs> <laughs> Would you throw pebbles down in front of him if he yeah. skateboarded by? Yeah. All right, so carry on. I cut you off. One of them's a congressman. Yeah, well, anyways, those Let guys... move into his house. Well, they would they would hire me... To, As a gimp? To work for them. And I would help out with different things. Like, we, we worked for Alan Keyes. We actually worked for... Uh, Alan Keyes? George. Is, is that the people who make the things that put IKEA furniture I actually met... I he's, met a, he's a black Republican. Oh, is he right? Yeah. Okay. In, that, in, that, in that same time period, I met George... W. Bush, Bush. When he was on his first campaign. Wait, wait, wait. You have met a president. Yeah. I shook his hand at, at, the, at the, a house in Indian Hill. You know what's weird? You know what's weird? I'll bet he's telling the same story. Right <laughs> I, want, now. I want to mention he's like, George, George, George Bush is at a dinner table right now. Going, I was there. I met Jason Hour. <laughs> <laughs> he probably does listen to the podcast. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I'm going I'm to stick up for once for George W. Bush. And it's, it's been in the paper of late, and it will still be in the paper when this says, that he, he was planning a holiday across Europe and he's not been allowed into uh, Switzerland because the Swiss people in the Geneva and all that have said that if he enters Switzerland, he will, war he, he will be arrested because of the torture that he's handed out, which I don't agree with him um, authorizing torture or anything like that. But I think the Swiss have to suck a bit of dick here, really. If they were neutral during the Second World War, if they couldn't tell that Hitler was a bad person, don't swoop in now against George Bush. You know, it's like they fucking, they're the most pissy bunch of people on, on earth, the Swiss. Well, where, where were they, the Nazis putting all their stolen treasures? Well, they, the, 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 exactly. The, Swiss, and that's the why. Swiss just fucking cower when a big war happens in their own <laughs> backyard. They make the fucking knives and they never use them. <laughs> you went that far <laughs> with that whole thing just to get to that joke. No, it wasn't a joke, but I really do believe that the Swiss seem to be a little bit petty and then they, they pick and choose. If you go to Switzerland, the tunnels that go into Switzerland have bombs ready to explode because the only reason they got to stay neutral is because of the mountains. Too hard to invade, so they get to go, ah, oh, you can't invade us, we're going to not pick a side. 
But sometimes in this life, you have to pick a fucking side. And you know that the British were in the right. I have a Swiss Army knife joke when I, when I first started doing stand-up. Uh, that's not a routine. I'm not doing a routine. Yeah, you sort of, you were getting to it. <laughs> oh, Christ almighty. This is the worst joke I think I've ever written. Okay. No, second or third worst. But I said something like, I went to a really wealthy private school. Mm. And I said, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. There were gangs and a lot of stabbings, but they were from Swiss Army knives. Yeah. And I go, uh, most of the most of the injuries were from burns from the magnifying glass. Yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> I I was I was like, what's thinking, your worst joke? Oh God, too many to fucking even <laughs> even contemplate. I, I used my worst worst joke that I ever wrote um, was when the X Men film first came out. So this is a long time ago. The first X Men film. I go, I'd read the comic books, but I never knew that the metal was actually put into his body. I always thought that was his mutation. His mutation is actually that his skin heals up very easily. So the Nazis or ever put the metal through his body and, and then he'd come out, but still hurt him and then they'd, they'd go back. And then I was watching that film. I thought to myself, I thought, Jim, your body heals up pretty well. Why don't you do that? So I attached all the metal that I had in my house through my body, but all I had was bread and butter knives. So... You know, don't get me angry because they'll come out. But, you know, I won't attack you, but I can, like, butter six bits of bread at once. And they call me margarine. That's, that's brutal. <laughs> yeah, oh, terrible. That is so terrible. Bad. I think you got one outing. It never. <laughs> yeah. I know there's one that I said. Uh, Jason hasn't finished his story. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> um, you know, they say Jesus died for our sins. And uh, I didn't believe that. And uh, what was it? And then I went to Vegas. Oh, now I know. I saw why they tortured him so much. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> like, oh, I was so bad in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, all right, back to your politi- political story. So By you- the way, this is the night he told me that he had... He was a temp at Sizzler. In yeah. the same conversation almost, he told me he worked for a politician and he also had a panic attack yeah. while temping at Sizzler. So you were living in you were living yeah. in a bunk bed with a politician. What happened? No, no. That? I mean, and I you, just... You had sex with Alan <clears throat> Keyes. No, actually, uh, I helped coordinate his uh, fundraising dinner for him. A fundraising dinner? In Cincinnati when he traveled through, yeah. Yeah. How, how, did you, how did you coordinate? Well, I, he was I just did whatever. Up. Yeah, I did that. Exactly. That, that's exactly what we did. That's not coordinating. That's chair moving. You moved well, chairs. Well, we did everything. You put plates You put on some the table. trestle I, tables up. You put some chairs out. I collected some, money, too. Put a lot of red and white balloons out. I went, Repu- around, with a, I went around with a hat. Republican, red, uh, red and white balloons, right? Okay, so this stuff that you're telling me, though, this was your argument to tell me that you knew what goes on no, in I politics. No, I just, I listen to people talk. You I, didn't work and, in and politics. You work for a politician. <laughs> And my, my church, my pastor was very politically active and, you know, I was the worship leader. So I was around for a lot of the meetings that he had. We had, we had people that were members of the church that were I'm start uh, calling you the military worship. intelligence guys. You're going to be the worship leader from now on. That's your new name. All right, Jason, 9-11, what happened? Yeah, uh, really, really. Uh, we, no, we need to hear your theory. We need to hear your theory. What happened? I might agree with you. I just honestly, I, I believe that it's possible i don't i don't know no, it definitely happened no i mean yeah it definitely happened <laughs> but here, here's the, here's 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 the thing though like it's like it's like there's so much <laughs> jason like there was 9 10 yeah. and 9 12 yeah. <laughs> i wasn't even here <laughs> that day was skipped over jason's not even sure if those buildings were there to begin with <laughs> i don't believe they even existed <laughs> all right so tell us i just think that it's possible that it was a black bag operation. That oh. it was like explain false flag or whatever it's called. Where, where it's happened throughout history. Where it? yeah, the Germans did it. You know, with Parliament, they, they there was threat immediately thereafter. Nine eleven. There was a. There, I've heard stories. You know, and, and read accounts where congressmen were saying that they were actually threatened to sign the Patriot Act. Like they had to. They had to do it. They had X amount There's of a theory that Pearl Harbor was, uh, they, knew, they knew it was going to happen. Yeah. They, yeah. Okay. So, and, and if you look at the legislation in the, in the way that our government has changed since that act, I think that it's possible that it was a false flag operation to usurp our, our, our l- l- government. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that your name is on any list in the government, or that anyone with the government is watching you at any time? You, personally. 
It's, po- it's possible. But what do you think? I don't think it's possible. No one knows where you live. <laughs> I, I've known you for years and I still don't know where you live. <laughs> you, you, you're never over there. Every time I pick you up, it's from a different address. <laughs> your, your landlord doesn't even know where you live. Yeah. Now, even Duke just wanders the street. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, do you think that there's, a, there's anyone at the government watching you? I hope not. But do you think so? No, probably not. Do you think you could start your own government? One time you told me you could. What's your, what's your biggest conspiracy that you believe in? It, man. I'll tell you mine. Yeah, you go first. All right. I get shouted down for this one all the time. I believe that Elvis Presley is still alive. Mm. Mm. Do you want explaining? Do you want me to tell you why? <laughs> okay. If you go online, there was a, a woman who, uh, there was a guy who, who wrote a book that, that was directly from Elvis, right? Okay. And he was Elvis' psychiatrist and he was a guy out of Kansas City. And this guy got given like an Elvis robe and a ring and some cufflings that Anne Margaret had given Elvis and all this. This guy who was and this guy calls himself Jesse, right? Now what happened was, um, this guy writes the book and then the, the people in the media go, "Oh, this is all bullshit." He passes two lie detectors, right? And it proves that he was telling the truth. At least he thinks he was telling the truth. Right, and so that was a little story from about 2002, and then it went out the window. And this is all online; you can all find this out. And then there was a woman called uh, Eliza who was an orphan, right? And then her found her birth mum, right? And then her birth mum uh, said, "Oh, there's this such and such. This bloke is your dad." She went over and visit this guy. It turned out it wasn't the dad. Did the DNA test? That wasn't the dad. Then she went to the archives in Memphis. And it turned out her mum lived over the road from the the, the mansion or from Gracelands. And then they had fucking, there's photos of Elvis and her mum. So she was like, fucking hell, maybe I'm Elvis's love child. Right? So on record, there's uh, two cousins that have given their DNA of Elvis. And they proved that this woman was not Elvis's love child, but Elvis's sister. Dun, dun, dun. So St- Vern Presley, after um, the mum had died, who Elvis was very keen on, slept in the same bed as 18 or... <laughs> And then, so she went over there, Stan, who's in his fucking Vern, who's in his like 60s or 70s, went, ah, 16-year-old girl, hey, the wife's dead. Gave her a bit of a plowing in old fucking Graceland. This 16-year-old girl had this kid, adopted it out, blah, 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 right? So this all goes through. This goes to Fox News, which we all know is reliable as fuck, right? Which is the most reliable of all the news. And they got DNA from this guy who was claiming to be Elvis, Right? from this psychiatrist person and it proved that that was her half brother i'm so confused right now i'd rather talk no to that's Jay. pretty did, cool did, no, you, no. Did, you, did you get that lily i think i'm following I, yeah i love how i was completely lost and, and I, my attention and i'm stoned so did I, I got that it's, it's, it's the only time in history because every year two or three people say that they're elvis's love child and they try to reopen the estate this is the only time the estate has been reopened and there's a court case happening as we speak. Mm. That's amazing. I think if anyone's still alive, I think it's so, Saddam Hussein. So the psychiatrist is protecting... No, the psychiatrist, he, he got done in for giving, uh, giving uh, right. the guy that played Elvis too much prescription drugs. <laughs> he, actually, he actually got disbarred. But there is a book out there. And also, I will show you the YouTube clips afterwards and you can make your own decision. But it, 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 there's, there's cops and DNA specialists and handwriting specialists that have seen letters from this guy, Jesse, and they say, yeah, no, it's definite that, uh, that he's still alive. But people don't seem to talk about it in the media. It never really made big news. No, they, they give up on shit so easily. And that's probably that's part of the problem of why these things never get finished. He might be dead now. That, that story broke a few years ago. Uh, and Elvis would be, what, 70 now? He's 70 years old now. It's so hard to stay on the top of the news and keep it like people viewing it like it's it's gone here today, gone tomorrow that you can't like really continue to investigate something. Saddam Hussein, when they hung him, Mm. Mm. he's not dead. Oh, they hung him. Nope. There's a lot of men that looked like elite standing there. (laughs) (laughs) I saw it. Um, Saddam, not dead. Osama, (laughs) not even looking for him. uh, No, um, bin Laden's already dead. Dead or... Who's been dead? They've got to keep a boogeyman going. Yeah. Jason, I've given you mine. What's your biggest conspiracy theory? Um, I kind of agree with Peter. I, what, I think, what's Peter's? I think that... Uh, and explain who Peter is. Yeah, I don't even know who Peter is. Peter Peter is uh, our friend that has the dog monster. We've talked about him before. Oh, yeah, yeah. monster. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. Anyways, um, he, uh, he pointed me to a few sites online, and I always had 
uh, an idea. Do you idea. have lucid conversations with Peter? Because I oh, love yeah. Peter. I think Peter's no, I, great, I, I, and I want to have him on the show. I love Peter. I'm going to say that. I've surfed with him. I've hung out with him, but I've never had a conversation well, with I'll him. I'll go over there, and we'll smoke out, and we'll talk for about an hour. Yeah, but every, 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 conversation. Con- every conversation I've had with him, see, he starts stuttering and then going into aliens. He stares off into space sometimes a lot. Conspiracy. Like He'll just start. He'll be talking to you, and then he'll just... And then I'm going like, to give you, you an go? impression. Let's just say, let's just say, we were discussing uh, our go kart racing. I'd mm. say, hey, we went go kart racing. Have you ever gone go kart racing? You'd be like, oh yeah, go karts. Those are fun. You, uh, you, you, did you get the fast one? And I'd be like, yeah, you know, when you go really fast, like you, you know, you know, and then you get going, and then sometimes it warps, and you sometimes go into third dimension, and everyone else is racing, but you're in your own place because you've gone somewhere that people don't go, and that's when you know that. That's tw- tw- twelve or uh, yeah, you wanna 2012. Play, you wanna and, play some video and that's games. When people die, and <laughs> and and it's all gonna, it's fucked. We're all gonna die, and then and that's when the aliens. And I'll be like, why did you just do that? And you can. Have you know what? I told you when I met him. him I'm, when I met him, he was in front of my house. He was drunk and he was crying. Really? Because he, yeah, no, he, no. A lot of people at no, your no. house. <laughs> 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 he probably found a dead hooker. <laughs> no, Wait, was he, this when you were was, married? Yeah, this Did, is back when I was still married. And he was. He, he was, probably had sex with your wife. I was, <laughs> I was gonna say that, but I, I was gonna go. He probably just fucked your wife. But I thought it's gonna be so mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you came in nicer. <laughs> with it. So. So um, come on, what's your conspiracy course. theory that you agree well, with? No, no. What was he? He was crying. And he was upset about the Anunnaki. What's in a knockout? They are. They are oh, the, he's a sushi chef around the corner. No, they're, they're the aliens. <laughs> they're the they're the aliens that gave us civilization, and and, what, and they're going to come back in 2012. And right, like the Egyptian, crush. the Egyptians with the pyramids and all that. Yeah, we're stuff. all that. Yeah, because they say that you know that the that they're. We gotta have Peter. Evolution, like evolution wise, the jump from one stage of man the missing to the link. next. The missing yeah. link. There's okay. that missing link. It was, it's like just 10,000 years ago, all of a sudden we're riding, we're farming, you know, and before that we were just flinging poo everywhere. And it's like... You still do that. Well, that's yeah. that's, that's, that's the whole thing, that, that the aliens came and taught us stuff. This is what, what is believed. You know, there's, yeah. a, there's a lot of things with the pyramids. They manipulated our genetics and stuff. Do you know that the pyramids are at the exact, the exact longest point of longitude and latitude on Earth? Like to See, it's shit like that, you know? That's, exactly, and there was no way why, of them doing it. That's and why it makes me think that, that that's possible. The exact Maybe probable, point on Earth. I don't know. It's I think amazing. that we might be uh, Eddie's I, I think so do you, my do, grandfather's is, is, is that what you, stick. Is that what you believe? You believe that aliens... <laughs> yeah, I had um, I had really weird experiences as a child. You know, know, the babysitters. The no, no, no. When I was, when I, when I was living... in the forest. No, besides that. The, the, you, the no, dad that used to beat you. No, I would have... Y- have you seen down. that movie, The Fourth Kind? Yes. I've seen I The Fifth that. Kind. No, yeah. The Fourth Kind is a, is a movie where they... It's not really Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, they, they, they debunked that movie. But the scenarios they describe... I'm going to debunk you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually... I would have... They, I, 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 and I, I think I read you about get these. a lot of your history from Stargate. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. Yeah, yeah. I just watched that the other day. I like the movie. I didn't like the TV show, but anyway. No, that was terrible. But... um. I would have these. I would have these uh, waking paralysis when I was a kid. Right, right, and, right. And just it would be really bizarre. That's, and that's because your parents would go in and punch your spine. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Your dad's cock would be so far down. Oh, the oh, yeah. boo! Did you, no. ever, did you ever find yourself elevated off the bed <laughs> with, with, with your fucking <laughs> grandfather fucking up the ass where he put that nightstick that he used to beat wow. people's bar into your mouth? No, that's just <laughs> And holding you up and rotating you above the sheets. Terrible. Saying, don't tell your mum. Terrible. Because she's next. <laughs> oh, sh- I'm gonna- <laughs> Jesus, Jim. Um, he touches himself right after that comment. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a big, I'm a big testicle adjuster. You know me. Go on, Jason. Tell us more. Well, I think it's probable. I, I I have an idea that. Did you ever see Ancient Aliens in the History Channel? I think I've still got it yeah. recorded. It was I good. Hated, eh? yeah. I hated that. You made oh, me watch I it. That. I was really angry I about that. that. You know, I've got a problem with aliens, and Arge Arge Barker fucks with me. I'm, I I don't want to talk, but I have enough paranoia and enough like I'm a neurotic. Well, the thing person. is, if they do visit us, they won't be friendly. There's no way in the world because I, they'll be coming because they want to take something over in the same way that when when when, when the yeah, white people went to Australia they went this is new land let's kill the black people yeah, 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 when yeah. they came over here let's kill the the yeah, Indians they're people. gonna gentrify it's, it's, it's Earth well it's it's a communication problem <laughs> no it's problem, exactly but, the same as but, when we but, went and but, found but other countries but why yeah. would you think that aliens are Darwinistic 
I think evolution and they've they've evolved more than us if they can travel here so they will definitely want to kill us because so they would have used up all the resources of their own planet. He goes with the Scientology thing that okay. they came to take gold. Okay, right. so not, not gold, maybe resources, but not right. necessarily gold. So, yeah, but Elrond Hubbard so said gold. In my paranoia of aliens, and I don't even like to talk about it, discuss it, and Arch is. They'll probably like you. You have the same teeth. Uh, uh, <laughs> Arch, Bar Arch Barker is obsessed with aliens and UFOs, and uh, he's installed all these different pictures of like alien babies onto my computer. <laughs> and Arch is really good with computers that like. I don't, in the middle of like a program I'll be working on all of a sudden, like I'll be on fucking on the internet or on word or something. All of a sudden I'll be watching a porno and all of a sudden psh, an alien picture fucking appears on my computer and mm. freaks me the fuck out. I, I believe uh, something happened at Roswell that wasn't a weather balloon. I don't believe yeah, that. Yeah. I, I think I've seen a UFO. I saw. I talked to last show. No, I, I, I saw. I saw a UFO. I, I. I don't know if it was an alien, but I listen, saw an listen, unidentified listen, flying listen, object. Listen, I got to fly tomorrow, and uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about this stuff. Could we change the subject? There's a. There's a. An issue that's been really. It, we need to get over it right now. There's been some tension, and uh, I, I just want to get it. Get it out there, and we can all. What is it? Jason, are you going to let anyone have sex with Lilith? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, Lilith's made it quite certain that she won't have sex with you. Yeah, yeah. So, so is Jim allowed to? Because I'm afraid what's going to happen is... No, don't get me in it's trouble. It's not my body. It's not my... I'm not the yeah, person yeah, yeah, you yeah, asked. Here's the thing. You, no, it's you, it's you, your you're, body we have to get past. Yes, and that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a long way around. And uh, <laughs> the problem is, is that what I'm worried about is that if anyone tries to pursue Lilith or, and accomplishes it, because, you know, you know, they she, will because she yeah. looks like she's well up yeah. for it. Um, you're going to snap. I won't snap. And we're going to lose you. No. Are you sure? I'm positive. I saw the way you wanted to go over and crush that man that day. Uh, you were really pissed off about somebody going over to help her with something. Oh, oh, John. His friend. Yeah. yeah. No, but that wasn't that wasn't no, about late. her. Shh. That wasn't about her. That it was. No. What happened? Yeah, so what, what happened there? Part of it. No, it, it wasn't. Tell the story, Lily. It was him. Jason, mm. you can tell your side in a second. Who would Lily, you know? tell us the story? He was story. blowing off band practice to go hang out with her. No, nah, that's really, not what no, you were mad really, about. Yeah. Were you hanging out with a fucking heroin addict? <laughs> that's oh, what I do for a living. Not, yeah. <laughs> what? Did you have sex with a heroin addict? I did not. You did. I did not let his did penis have, come close to me Did you kiss him? I did not. Nothing? Nothing. Did he try? No. What's he what? was a gentleman. Is he some type of fucking faggot? like cigarettes faggot? and coffee. Yeah. Okay, question. So Jason's but he was if, great. If, if one of us were to have sex with Lilith, who would you rather it be, Jim or me? This is dead air, man. I no, I mean, that's, a, that's really difficult. Who, is it, who would you rather have? Uh, no, let me rephrase that question. You know what? Well, let me rephrase no, no, it. Let no, me rephrase no, 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 it. You know what? You know what? Honestly, who would you rather be upset? No, who, look, who look. would make you more upset if they had sex with their? Actually, meat? you know what? I'm going to answer it my way. Okay. Thank you. I, I'm going to answer the original question. I had to think about it for a second. I, I'm actually going to. I'm going to say Jim. You know why? What? Because I know you're uncomfortable with the uh, choking, and Jim's going to give her oh. what she wants. Yeah, so, baby. So he likes to choke. You don't like to do that. You no. said that before. No. I've heard you say that. Yeah, so. but I'll choke her. To, yeah. Oh, you would? Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, banger. but based on previous knowledge, that would be my answer. Okay, so, so what? So you would uh, rather have Jim have sex with her? Yeah. Well, I want her to be happy. He wants her to be happy. Oh, <laughs> what, a, what a nice Soon man. Do you want me to like orgasm, him? Jason? He, he yeah. want, this is getting dirty. <laughs> yeah. We all want you to orgasm. Yeah. Really. Okay, now, you do it for now, us now, Jason, if <laughs> would you let later. Jim do it if you can be in the room and watch? Oh my God! Yeah, Lily, would you let that happen? I wouldn't be able to come. <laughs> <laughs> Am I that creepy? Yeah. No, the situation's that creepy. Yeah. Don't think I'd be coming either. <laughs> <laughs> I would like that to happen just for the story, yeah. for the show. Can you please make it happen? No, I'll be in trouble. No, with I who? Be doing things like that. Oh, you have a girlfriend. Yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, so I guess I'll have to do it. You have but a girlfriend you, too, but, yeah. I'll, but I'll do it for the show. Oh. <laughs> you're just gonna be that. You just yeah. yeah. I'll get it up and do it. I'll stick it in. You stand there and just look retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you be more upset if if you found out one of us had sex with her? What would make you more upset? Like if you found out tomorrow that one of us had sex with her tonight, which one of us would it upset you more? Who would I, you feel betrayed by? I wouldn't because I've already decided a long time ago that you guys are gonna do whatever you want. 
no matter what, and I can't take it personally. Really? So, yeah. You want to tag team her? I want to tag team his mom if he's going <laughs> to fucking... <laughs> he get hey, anything. man, it takes two to tango. If my mom wants no, to no, do no, you, no, no, she probably needs tango. it. <laughs> would you feel like, if, if we had sex with her, would you feel like um, we betrayed you? No. All right. He would feel like I betrayed him. I would. You would be living up to my expectations. Wow. Now, would you have sex with me late? On or off the record? <laughs> yeah, um, on. Off. Um, I I think I mean give theoretically, us both, yes. Give us, give, us both, <laughs> give, give us both answers. Off the record, would you? Yes. On the record. Hell no. Why? <laughs> Off the record, off the record's the good one. All right, that's all right, that's all right. I'll go with off the record. We'll just we'll just leave in that on the record you know, one. Oh no, I've been rejected. Jason's saying one thing, but I think his chemicals are up right now. <laughs> I'm, no, that, I'm pretty stoned right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. Paul like, Benza came do over. Do you feel it? Er, you feel it, Ernie? It yeah, it is. It's kicked in. Did and you I take feel it, it too? Yeah, yeah. Paul, we ate some chocolate that Paul gave us. Paul Provenza. Paul Provenza came over and made everyone chocolate um, that <laughs> involved um, drugs in it. I can say that openly because Paul smoked pot on television on the green room, which would have already aired by now. Um, and in case uh, Showtime at this stage is saying that it was only fake, we have it on good authority <laughs> that it was not fake. It was real. They were actually smoking pot on TV just for shits and giggles. First time ever that they've ever. Did, done they it probably all have their card though. Well, I don't. I'm sure he got. Uh, he, he had a chocolate bar that was professional. That was that was from a store. He shotgunned smoke right into. Uh, no, but I'm saying what, what what he gave us tonight was purchased from a like one of those medicinal um, marijuana. Me, medicinal marijuana. Why can't can why can't I get Prozac chocolate? Can you? Can <laughs> why, why why is it only marijuana? That's because the chocolate. pharmaceutical companies just aren't fun. Yeah, yeah. Where, they don't want to make flavors. Where was my thing, candy you know? Ritalin when I was yeah. a kid? Can you say medicinal marijuana? Medicinal marijuana. <laughs> say it again. Say it. Medicinal marijuana. Oh, that's good. Your lips are cracking. Oh. Now say red leather, red letter, yellow letter. Over and over. over red and over. letter, yellow letter, red 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 letter, yellow letter. You're not bad that's at crazy. it. No, that just it gave me anxiety. La, 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 la. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Hey, Lily, can we work on my anxiety? Now say Where's very quickly, I as really fast as you can. Lee will never sleep with me. Lee will never sleep with me. <laughs> Lee will never sleep with me. Lee will never sleep with me. <laughs> no, I love about Jason. Can you I know why he was so me? good at that? Because that's what he says all the all time when he's going to bed. Crying. That's how he goes to bed. It'll never happen. 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 This ivory tusk I got it from a girl who used to be with volleyball for my, with my wife. It'll never happen. <laughs> Do you have conversations with yourself in the mirror ever? Uh, only if I'm really fucked up and angry. And what do you say? I don't know. What would you say? I'm usually, I mean, it'd be like, it'd be like after a horrible, you know, like that time, night. You, like that, like that time you were sitting on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a bad time in my life, man. If I was you, depressed. If you just started, I was like freshly broken up. If you, know? you just started to listen to the show, we've mentioned this before, but it is one of the funniest moments ever. Well, Lee, I don't know if you know it, uh, but one time Jason was upstairs sitting on the toilet having a conversation with himself and there happened to be a guy, the a guy on the telephone pole outside the window, literally like two feet away, no, fixing no. the wires and Jason's going, why, why did, did she, she leave me? me? <laughs> that fucking bitch. <laughs> you know you and, then I, and, and you and know he was out there for a while because like all of a sudden I just heard like like he probably just shifted and his tool went to that like thing. You know, I heard him rattle and, and I looked down and I'm like, oh my God, that guy was been You said you got eye contact with him <laughs> and he looked at you like, it's going to get better. <laughs> <laughs> he lied. Yeah, you never met Duke. But it has gotten better, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, life's it's much been, better. It's been about a year, hasn't it? Almost. When's your one year anniversary? We'll celebrate it by getting you a hooker. I think it was the week of my birthday. <laughs> You don't right, remember? Right. No, you, it was the week of my birthday. When, 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 was, your, when birthday? was your birthday? Uh, May 9th. May 9th? She we, left you the week of your birthday? Yeah. Although I must admit, I'm all... It's good timing. I'm all for that because I hate that. Girls do this more than guys, I think. When you break up with a girl and it's a week before Valentine's Day. How could he break up with me so over Christmas? Buy you shit. How could he... You know what I mean? That really fucking bothers me, that one, because it's like, I, 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 she listens to the show, so I can't say it, but I went out with a girl for a while, 
and I didn't want to go out with her anymore. I was going to break up with her, and then her dad died, and then I was like, oh, I'm in for another three months here. <laughs> You can't. Just, yeah, you can't. You can't. You know what I mean? Sympathy. And, and I, I have my own holidays that land about a week before Valentine's Day and a week before Christmas, and it, they're called cheap days. And they are the days when I break up with girls so I don't have to buy them shit. I, another, another, <laughs> one, another one that I really hate is you start dating a girl, you really like her, but you know, you're not, you know, it's, it's early days, and you start dating her, and then two weeks later is her birthday. What's the protocol? Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, you know what I mean? Because if you get a big gift, you seem desperate. Yeah. If you get nothing, you're a bit of a knob. And I always go for the funny gift. Like, remember something that she said about a book that she liked or something like that? I think dinner. Dinner's out of No, but dinner's regardless. Dinner, you're, pay, yeah. you're paying for every that's dinner critical. anyway. It's and a then, girl. And then something sentimental. Are we becoming a relationship? I think a, a an orgasm no, is enough. An orgasm is enough. So, Lily, every, well. Lily, Lily, you are just full of hormones. Right <laughs> <laughs> you, I have never it's known. It's obvious it. I don't get laid enough. Oh, God, you need it. Uh, right, yeah. Wait, so in this room, who's single? I'm not single. Jim's not single. Jason Jay's and single. Lilith are single. Machete, are you single? Yeah, I'm single. Yeah, right. Machete, okay. if you had to, Machete or Jason, which one? <laughs> Come on, you have to choose which one. Only because I like to be consistent, I'd say Machete. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna blow his brains out tonight. <laughs> you got fucking Machete. Jason. What's it all about, Jim? <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> Why was I born? He's channeling Duke the right voice now. of Duke. Listen, Jason, don't worry. I'll take you for a Snickers ice cream bar oh, later. Thank you. And soon as you won your anniversary of the greatest thing that ever happened to you. Yeah. Moving into this house. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? We're still, we're not letting that drop. You're going to wrestle the MMA fighter. No, come on. Yeah, no, 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 get, no, 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 no. Hollow promises. We're no, gonna get him a no, 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 If it happens, hey. it happens. It's an exciting hey. episode, but I'm not making any more promises. You're what? Dude, the last couple of days, my, ever since we did the cart race, actually, my fucking, my low back, my sciatic nerve. But my, last week's episode, you were doing centipedes. Yeah, I did it, but the week before that, you were late. Dude, I don't, I don't want to get hit like that though. Like those guys are legit. Like those guys hit like a ton of bricks. You can tap out at any time. Yeah, Yeah, I'm tapping out right now. Wait a minute, you're saying you're. I'm tapping out right here. Yeah, that's a fair point. Here we go. I'm tapped out. You're saying your sciatic nerves bad. In the past month, I've seen you centipede, go kart. And let Jim, you let Jim an example punch you in the face and the stomach simultaneously. <laughs> and you're like, no, I'm, I'm tapping out. There's certain things, though. Like, that, that's a pro fighter. And that's, I, I thought, I watched a I bunch hit of, you pretty hard. Yeah. I don't I'll, think you hit as hard you, as those guys I'll bet you I didn't hit you as hard as I physically could because, you know, I would have hurt my hand. I don't, I don't know. Did you, don't did know, you watch Jim. the video, Jim? I don't know, Jim. I've seen the video. I think did you, you see the video? No, you, no, you. He told me he didn't want to see full, it. He goes, I don't want to see those did, videos ever. You get into a bow stance. I mean, you. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you did it like it was years of aggression pent up. Like, I <laughs> hoped it helped you. No, I, I regret doing that. I feel awful about that. That was the first time I got. I don't drunk remember in a long doing time, it. Really. I don't remember like. I mean, I remember vaguely doing it, but you know. I don't remember how I got into that position, though. Lilith, is that masochistic? What What's that? How would you analyze that? Uh, <laughs> are you getting pleasure from that? He did. He did. He did. I really think he totally did. Totally masochistic. Yeah, because <laughs> But there's he, nothing wrong with it. But he would clench up and get like really tight. And he was like, after they'd hit him, he'd be like, yeah, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> this is all a little homoerotic. Oh, God. Uh, a little. Yeah. Really? They a didn't little. Have, none of them had their shirts on? It was, it was very. <laughs> I didn't even see the video. <laughs> yeah, why did we have our, what the fuck is that? Did about? I have my shirt That was your idea, too, I think. It was either yours or examples. They wanted, did I, did you I guys have my were making me switch shirts with them or something? I don't yeah. even know. What yeah. the hell that was Need about? Example switch shirt. Was yeah. I shirtless? Yes. At one I point, I think I would have been shirtless. That doesn't sound like me. I make cracks at example all the time on his <laughs> on his Twitter. Like he'll he'll say something about a song and what motivated him, and I'll write, "Are you sure it wasn't being on talking shit with Jim and Eddie?" <laughs> and he twitters back so quickly. Yes, I'm positive, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lily, well, back to this present thing. What's the worst present you've ever gotten from a guy? Um, and then the best. Well, the worst, well, the worst, and the best would have to be. <laughs> thanks, Eddie. Um, a, Got it a vibrator. Three times. <laughs> the worst and the best. Yeah, because it was amazing. Because I love vibrators and I collect them. 
You um, collect them. Yeah. Do you have old ones? Like, do you name them after your retarded friends? <laughs> <laughs> no, that would defeat the, the purpose, the, Jason. The Jason one, the batteries don't work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Have a rechargeable one. The now, Jason one's been in every hole because it's had so many jobs. <laughs> I, well, the, and Jason the, reason, one, the Jason one only goes in their ass because it stinks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Jason one's it never clean. It stops after a minute. <laughs> Powering down. <laughs> the Jason one she got for free. <laughs> Solar powered. <laughs> The Jason one has a little clock on the end. <laughs> <laughs> the Jason one's only used for lesbians like his wife. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, all right, we'll end there. <laughs> unless we, unless right, we no, go over the so, funny one. So you, you, you collect them. <laughs> Does the Jason one look like the bat his grandfather gave him? <laughs> <laughs> Which Jim is holding. <laughs> Firmly. Uh, do you have one with the, do you have the, do you have the butterfly? Everyone one? has the butterfly or one. The, no, no, the, the uh, rabbit. The rabbit. I, the do. rabbit. I do have the rabbit. I've got, a, I've got a problem with the rabbit. Girls use the rabbit, which is a cock and, you know, those rabbit ears. And the ears. thing that goes in the clip, and, yeah. and it's like, uh, like you can you can fuck a girl and use your thumb at the same time and massage your clit, but you're never going to be able to compete no, with no, those rabbit ears. No, you'll never compete with it. So thing. when a girl is using that, it we're never going to be able to contend with that. So, so they grow accustomed to it. And then coming back to us is kind of like doing heroin and then doing methadone. You're never going to enjoy us as much as you enjoy us. No, I disagree. No, but it's also the fact that we watch porn that when very rarely going to get the same thing from a girl. Like to the level that we're sure, watching. sure, sure. Unless you fuck a porn star. Yeah, but like unless you fuck four porn stars, whether you know what I mean. Even yeah. if you fuck a porn star, you're not fucking four of them. The only people in the world who are having porn sex are people are porn in porn. Star, yeah, and they have to be up to the performance level. It's like yes. if they fuck you, they're probably just going to fuck you normally. They're going to be like, yeah, I'll take this one easy. They're not doing it for the for the camera. Exactly. So we have that and the girl that we're having sh sex with will never live up to those standards whereas we'll never live up to the rabbit ear standards. But we might do, Lilith. <laughs> we do. Do you? Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. I, I think you guys know how to please women. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now, I mean, you guys have girlfriends. How, how many? Still around. How many do you have? How many do you have? <laughs> Five. 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 Aren't you worried uh, that like someone's going to find them in your house and be like, this girl? A um, I thought I was worried I lost them in the move. And I called Jason asking him where my vibrators were. She, yeah. find she, them. Them. <laughs> she thought I had them yeah. Oh, yeah. for oh, some yeah. reason. In his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was uh, he was rolling around in bed uh, with them. <laughs> they were all, they were all fucking. They he, smell like a vagina. He, he, they were all fucking <laughs> bouncing around his bed like a game of hungry hippos. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to slit his wrists with them, but they weren't sharp enough. <laughs> oh, he might notice some tears on some of them. <laughs> and some hair. I love that she lost her vibrators and called Jason first thing. Yeah, so why? So you, you thought you lost them. Jason, which one smelled the best? <laughs> I didn't have them. You didn't you know. do, you, what, do you have a go-to that's your favorite? I do. And which one's that one? It's, it's called a Lilo, which is interesting because that's my nickname in Armenian, is yeah. Lilo. Yeah, yeah. And it's the best little oh. curve device. It goes that, up onto the G-spot. Yeah, and it has the little clit thing, too. Oh, nice. So it's like Lovely. ergonomically designed to pleasure you internally and externally. You know what I've always wanted to do is get the uh, remote control one where the girl wears oh. it. Oh no, I've just used the remote control before. <laughs> 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 Shove it in there and then fucking as she walks around the channels change. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and put it on her and you go out and then you can you can hit it like whenever you want and it just starts oh, vibrating on I, her clip. That would be romantic. Really? I'll get yeah. you one. Thank you. Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's my birthday, Valentine's ah. Day. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, and by the way, Eddie, I think masturbation is one of the best ways of relieving anxiety. In really? my professional opinion. I, so I, I Then why am I so anxious? I masturbate. I masturbate a ton. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, like, I don't think maybe for you... Yeah, I, I do. I, well, yeah, I do. I mean, I, do, I don't think it's I do the same it for men. To, and, I mean, I do it to about, go to sleep. I do it to wake yeah. up. I masturbate to procrastinate. Yeah. Like, I'll have shit to do, and I'll be yeah. like, oh, I've, I've got to do this. Well, I'll masturbate. That'll give me time not to do it. But Sometimes when I'm in hotels, I give myself little competitions to see how many times I can whack it out. Yeah, I've tried that too. <laughs> What's your record? 
It's quite high. Huh. It's like six. Yeah, no way. Five. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Six, yeah. yeah, I think within I've done a five. Day? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, within yeah, a yeah. good within within the afternoon. Three hour period. Yeah, within the afternoon. Five yeah, is my yeah. record. That's, that's a good sign. Um, I, I I'd never be able to come that many times with a girl, but I can do it masturbating because yeah. I know me. <laughs> um, yeah, five. Jason. Yeah, I've I've done that before. Your granddad's bat just gave me a fucking splinter in my foot. <laughs> well, what are you doing with it? Rubbing it against my foot. You're like doing like. Foot wanking the damn uh, thing. I don't even want. Have you seen the Leet's feet when we did the strip poker? <laughs> oh She's my got, she god! Got amazing feet. Oh my god! We're gonna find out now that Lindsay's been gone for eight episodes or six episodes. How many episodes have we lost, Lindsay? Six episodes. And now Lalit has been here for four. Mm-hmm. We've been in on four episodes. Yeah. I wonder what our listeners. Uh, we'll write in and tell us who you like more. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, we'll yeah we could we could have like a, a like contest. a yeah survivor kind of thing. You know, like like how we had the tart off. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. Well, the clit off. I, the pr- let's the, let's the let's, problem is let's l- let's look at the pros and cons here. Lindsay okay? was more fun to pick on. Yeah, Lindsay was more fun to pick on. She she had a more of a wounded animal side to it than you do. We, I think we can all agree that you're prettier. But that shouldn't come into play because it's a podcast. Yeah, yeah so but it's, it's, it's more fun for us to look it at. It keeps you uh, happy, Jim. That's one thing about yeah. it. You are you were more adventurous with the uh, taking off of the clothes. Uh, yeah. I don't think Lindsay would have done that, nor would no. we Nor would her. we want yeah. her to. <laughs> we had a rule against that. But I, I must admit, I, I, I care very much for Lindsay. I think Lindsay's a lovely girl if she's listening. And yeah. I, miss, I miss her very much. Do you think she I, listens? Yeah, of course she does. <laughs> she's, she's got nothing else going on. <laughs> um, but, but, I, but I, I do. I really like Lindsay, and I miss Lindsay. So I hope yeah. she comes back. But, uh, but that doesn't mean that we'll be getting rid of you, Lily. Oh, no. Thanks, Jim. I'd well, be heartbroken. You you'll, would be. You'll mm-hmm. just have to. Oh, you didn't do it down microphone. Oh. You'll just have to overpower her. Look, we all know what's going to happen. Me, either me or you, is going to have sex with her, and she won't want to be on the show anyway. So, you know, that'll be the end of that. And then that'll be the end of our relationships. Too. Yeah, yeah, we'll be in trouble as well because those girlfriends. <laughs> no, it's unbelievable how they can't separate the emotion and the physicalness of that. Why is that, Lily? Um, I've been trying to figure out that piece for a while. Like I men, don't know. Men, it's, ju- it's purely physical. Why can't we have a relationship where we're emotionally in love with a person and then we can go off and physically have... Gay men do it all the time. Gay men get to fuck each other. They can be broken up. They can be... Uh, uh, Lauren just said it to me today. She said that her her friend, her gay friend, was going to stay with his ex boyfriend. And I go, "Are they going to? Do you think they'll have sex again?" She goes, "Of course, they still do all the time." And it's like they don't have to be like they just fuck anyone, and no one gets in trouble, and there's no. But, but they get AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is true. That is true. But why can't girls just like, why can't you have a relationship and let your boyfriend or husband or whatever go off and just fuck Be- other because girls? It's I- just a fuck. But also, Eddie, you're an extraordinarily jealous boyfriend. If your girlfriend went off to fuck someone, you'd be very upset. Mm. You would. You mm. once told me the only reason you couldn't go to a swingers party is because you'd be fucking a chick while staring at your girlfriend fucking someone else and being angry. I think I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like throwing shit so at his go. head. I'd be more comfy with it than you would. Yeah, you would definitely. You could go to a swingers party? I think I could, yeah. yeah. I think I could. I don't want to But it, the problem is that it's going to be full of uglies, isn't it? Yeah, prob- not the swingers I knew in Australia. Mm-hmm. Not ugly. No. No, I've never told you the story about my first time in Australia. Tell me, tell me your story. Uh, I went to Australia to, to do my first tour like seven years ago, and uh, I didn't know anyone there. Mm. I had, and I had an Australian friend in Britain who, as I was going, he said, where are you staying? I said, I don't know. I'll stay in a hostel or a hotel or some shit. Hole. I don't care. You know, I'm just doing like pub gigs. Mm. And uh, he said, no, you're going to stay at my best friend. The <laughs> He goes, you're going to stay at his house. And I went... All right, all right, all right. And he says he's got his big mansion and he throws parties all the time, mate. He's fighting parties. You're all right, enough, love enough for the bigotry. Yeah, yeah. But he, he goes, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. Uh, there's chicks there. He's got a spa in the back and blah blah. And I went, cool, cool, cool. And uh, and I never met this guy. I never even talked to him. All I heard was the keys under the mat. Let yourself in. He knows you're coming. So I fucking take like a bus and a taxi all the way from the airport in Sydney to this guy's house. He's not going to be there for a day, supposedly. I'm supposed to let myself in. I go into this guy's house. I'm sleeping on the couch. And that night, as I'm sleeping, he comes running through the front door, goes through the back door out into the patio, Mm. and starts throwing up all over the backyard. I can hear him going like, And I'm 
like, what the fuck? And I swear I felt like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. I was like, there's no place like home. There's, <laughs> like, who the fuck is this guy throwing? And then he comes back in the house, gets on the phone, gets a girl on the phone. He goes, yeah, come over. I'm having a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some fucking yank on my couch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So bring another bird. Then he goes to the refrigerator, pulls out two beers, opens them. And wakes me up because I'm faking that I'm asleep. And he goes, hey, hey, guy, mate. Hey, guy, hey, guy, 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 how about this beer, mate? Welcome to Australia. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. So we drink all night, just the two of us from like three in the morning on till the sun comes up just talking. And uh, I go off to do some more gigs then. I leave the next. I come back like three days later and there's a full-fledged party going on at his house. And I walk in and everyone's naked. And they're just <laughs> fucking everything. <laughs> and I'm like... What the fuck? Mm. And this is my first time to Australia. And I'm like, is this what they do in Australia? I'm like, is this That's like, what we do? Like. Is this normal? <laughs> when are we so going? I, so I, they're all in the hot tub. I walk over to the hot tub and they're like, hey, this is Eddie, the comedian. Bah! And there's a girl in there that I always use. She's giving the uh, she's cross country skiing, fucking jerking off two guys. Mm -mm -mm. And I can see them. They're both like, hey, Eddie. And I'm like, hey. <laughs> and she she lets go of their cock, comes over, pulls my pants down and whips my cock out and goes, I'm supposed to give you this. And like somebody whispered me or go blow him or something. And she just sticks my limp cock in her mouth. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? And uh, so I kind of like go up to my room and I think I have like a gig later that night. And I'm like, everybody's fucking here. And they're all doing drugs. And, and, and were they hot? Yeah, they're really hot girls there. So, so I'm like, oh, what the? so, so I leave and like, uh, I had to go do a gig or something. I came home to like get my shit and go. And I, I come back like a couple days later and it's going on again <laughs> and they're having another party and I'm in my bed and some girl comes in and goes, Russian girl goes, wake up, wake up. And I'm like, what? And she told me this guy, she goes, he won't fuck me. And now I knew he wouldn't fuck her because he pushed me out of a bedroom to go in another room because he was fucking some other girl earlier and he was passed out now. And she goes, I need you to fuck me. And did you? <laughs> and I go, what? <laughs> this girl goes, I need you to fuck me right now. And I'm like, why? And she goes, Why'd you ask why? I just, I've never had a girl wake me up and go, I need you to fuck me. Uh, Jason's never had a girl. Think how lucky you were. Was she hot? Russian? Eastern European women, they're great. Yeah. So she goes, come downstairs and drink with me. So we went downstairs and we started drinking vodka. And uh, I think she cried to me about her husband or something. Mm. It was awful. It was awful. But these parties went on constantly. Like, like every three days. These guys never went to work. They would all call in sick and just decide to throw a party. And they all had jobs at like banks and lawyers and accountants. And right. It was just fucking crazy. But That's the, Australia. The, 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 the one guy, the one guy was in a swingers club, and you have to be good looking to get in. And when you go to the parties, you have to bring someone with you. Right. And they have to be willing to jump in, you know. And it's like ten on ten. And they showed me photos, and everyone was good looking. Like right. it was like, oh, this is where they all go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you go to a bar and you're like, what? You know what's the saddest thing about that story? The, I've never been invited ever to anything like that. Like no one's ever looked at me and gone, well, bring Jim as my bring along. <laughs> even, even with my small level of fame, no one thought, oh, he'll get in. I've been, the, to, I've been to a few in the Hollywood Hills and, uh, that are pretty well, You're better looking than me. No, it was just, I weaseled into them, but like pool parties where everyone was fucking doing crazy shit. But Lily, would you go to a swingers party? Um, I've definitely fantasized about that, but I don't know if I would. What do you Maybe. Mean, what do you mean you fantasized about it? I, I think it's hot to be able to do that. To like switch guys? Mm-hmm. And girls. Mm. Ooh. Wow. Leader, we seen a side <laughs> of you we didn't know I, about. Uh, Thank God well, Lindsay's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, this wouldn't be possible otherwise, no, right? This is taking, it's like know, fate. You know, as much as we say Jason <laughs> not, does nothing. I'm not fucking anyone with you, Jason. So <laughs> don't, don't, don't even think for a second. If 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 Brooklyn Decker... You said you would already, though. If, no. On a previous show? I think you no, have. No, if the I hottest lied. woman... I think you said so. If the hottest woman in the world in the world came to me and said, I'm going to fuck you, but you have to, you have to watch me fuck Jason too. I would go, just, just take him. Right. Yeah, Cause it wouldn't be worth it because you would have stabbed your eyes out five minutes earlier. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's like Luke the Al- Luke, like Jeez. I've seen you naked. <laughs> I saw you run up those stairs like a jaunty little boy chasing after pudding. I am going to have trouble. I put it this way. I'm going to have trouble ever masturbating or having sex again after I saw you naked. Thanks. It just... Actually, I've been coming a lot quicker. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually helped me. I, I used to have so much self-hate. Now I actually yell out, at least I'm not him. <laughs> um, Lily, tell me, so have you ever had a threesome? Uh, of course she has. Uh, slightly. What do you mean slightly? There was an intercourse. It wasn't full on oh. intercourse, but. Did you do the uh, cross-country skiing? No, 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 it could have been a girl was, and a guy. It was another girl and a guy. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Naturally. Naturally? Yeah. You didn't want to do the devil's threesome? No. <laughs> Although. Uh, Jim likes those better. <laughs> wow. Jim Jim likes the devil's threesome. He said the more cocks, the better. Yeah, I, yeah, I prefer that. He likes that. to see a woman wrecked. I've, I've had several, yeah, I've had several uh, threesomes just with two girls, and I've found them to be, because uh, the girls, it's never like Pong, because one of the girls is never as into it as the other. Did you say it's not like Pong? Porn. Porn. Oh, I think said Pong, like. You know, like the, the video game. game. Boop. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like Tetris. Um, but no, I, I, I prefer the two guys to the girl. I think it's hotter, personally. You know, it's a little more aggressive. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you know how. We, yeah. we, you we know, know I like we that. We know Jim, Jim thinks. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. There can't be another cock in the room with me or, you know. Yeah, you're a big enough cock. Or, or I'll end up just sucking Wait, that thing. So, <laughs> so, Jim, is it one in the bum and one in the... No, no, no. It's one in the mouth. It's one, one in the, the um, one of the thing. Yeah. The spit roast. Yeah, the spit roast. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted. To I would do. I would do. Just, I would do. She, the, just, she just wanted. I would do for the. Wanking. I would do the one in the bum, one in the vagina. But I've never met a girl who was up to it. I've only ever had that situation. Speaking before. of which, speaking of Porn which, the, those swingers, those swingers from Australia. I went out with one of them one night. We were in a bar. We met up in town, and we were just like talking. And I I'm said, "I'm getting a, a semi on here." Yeah. No, no, not talking about this. And I said to him. When you do this like swinging shit, I go, do you ever put your cock in like a girl's vagina and then like another guy's got his cock in her ass? And he goes, yeah, man. he goes, I've been in a girl's vagina. Well, another guy's been in a girl's vagina. What? And I go, so your cocks are rubbing against uh, each other. Yeah, no, And that's... he goes, yeah. And I go, that's gay. And he goes, that's no, not. He goes, it's all about her. And I'm like. Not when your cock is rubbing against another cock. That is officially gay. Yeah, well, I've I've seen it in porn many times. I I, I understand the arguments for and against that. <laughs> <laughs> what camp are you in? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> right in. <laughs> see, I, I don't. I don't. Are you for or against? I don't mind if it. You know, a lot of guys. If I came in a girl's mouth and then she was to spit it back in my mouth, I don't have an issue with that if it's hot and it's in the moment. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's my cum. I'm not a fucking oh, weirdo. Oh, your cum. Oh, no, yeah, what? my cum. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant a. Another guy. No, not another guy. But even stuff. your. It's like a fusion of incest and cannibalism. Like, yeah. If if I if I've come over her face, then we make out, and someone goes uh, in my mouth. I'm all, I'm all right uh, with that. How do you feel about that, Lily? <laughs> <laughs> come on. How do, you, how do you feel? Come on. Um, I think it can be hot. Yeah. I I mean I would appreciate it. Yeah, that's not my thing. <laughs> If you, you, know. you will appreciate it. <laughs> I, 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 I don't need those little swimmers in my mouth. Whoa. I have never. I can How say, can you expect can, a girl to do that for you when you can't take it yourself? I can take her pussy juice. I yeah. Just, but how many? Okay, let me put it this way. How many times have you gone down on a girl and then gone straight back up to kissing her with her juices all around you and have no second thought I'll, about it? And the I'll, girl never pushes you away I would, when that happens. I would let her. Come, I would come in her mouth, let her swallow, and then make out with her. I just would. I don't want. I have never. I don't. I don't ask for it. Sounds it like has happened. It, sounds it like has you happened, and I'm not afraid. If there's someone in their mouth or something, I will go straight back to kissing them. I uh, I can say officially, and like I really, mean, I have never tasted my own cum. Oh, yeah. I've tasted it when I was about twelve or thirteen. <laughs> I, 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 so, I have so many times out of my hand and dipped it onto my tongue. It's unbelievable. <laughs> 
I also, I also have had several times when I've been wanked up, when I've, when I've had a hand job or done it to myself, where it's shot directly into my mouth. Because I've, I've always got my mouth open as I'm coming, and I'm always on my back doing it. <laughs> and I had a big load of it just you bang, know, no swish wonder, straight through the hoop. No wonder you don't mind lapping it off a girl's face. <laughs> <laughs> you've been, you, you've been eating this delicacy for years. And I can also tell you that my Protein. that my cum isn't that bad tasting. It's a pretty neutral old taste. It, it has, we, you, you it has good, a lot of watermelon juice. It has good days. In, it has good days and bad. You know what I mean? It's not always fucking delicious. <laughs> I can't believe I live in a the lot same of fruit. House with they you. say a lot of fruit. I is don't good do it every day, Eddie, but I've done it several times. How many and <laughs> sometimes, if I'm feeling, you know, like when a woman goes, oh, I'm feeling a bit the sort of. <laughs> you know when a woman, you know when a woman's like, oh, I feel a bit funny downstairs. You know when a woman knows yeah, 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 when yeah. they're not smelling their best downstairs. <laughs> I don't so, know what that's like. Yeah, but sometimes I have maybe once a month where it's like I've been doing something, I've been on a plane or whatever. And I'm thinking, oh, my cock's not smelling the best it could, <laughs> and I might get a bit of come on my. And I think, I wonder if it comes up to good taste at the moment. I, I'll do a little thing. Oh, no, that's fine. Oh, no, I need to eat some, drink some more pineapple juice or something. I like to, I'm very, I'm very considerate lover. You, ta- <laughs> you taste test your own cum for them. How am I doing today? That's very Jeez. considerate. I, you know, we've reached some lows with you that I thought we can't go any lower. He can't take us to a lower Spelunking. point. But tonight we've, we've reached a new low. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. I just think you guys are such The fags. fish don't have eyes down like, here. You're such fags for not like, eating yeah. your own cum. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, you fucking faggot, eat your own cum. Yeah, yeah. Be J- straight and eat your Jason's own cum. Jason's fucking ideal way to fuck a woman is I give her a massage and oh. clean sheets. Wait, wait, wait. Like, I, wait come on. Jason. That was good. That was okay, okay. Come on, let's not. Let's not. Please. Okay, okay, okay. That situation's unfair. Just shut up. Just, did I say, whoa, shut up, like 15 times? You, you, you just keep going. Mm. I got a good question. Have you ever stuck your own finger up your own bum? Of course. Okay. Of course, yeah. Have you ever tasted that? No, 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 no. no. But I will, I will tongue a girl's asshole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who would? And you oh, see, listen it, to Jason. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. How do you go from um, not having sex to tonguing their asshole? No, he used to tongue I his wife's sometimes. anus. Sometimes she'd just shit in his mouth just to prove a point. <laughs> That's awful. To ask for a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> can you play us a song? Yeah. You can? Sure. But a song we'd all know. Yeah, play a song we know and then a song you make up for us. I can't play a song you know. You right. know can you make up a song? Yeah. Make up a song about the show? Are you high enough? Well, I just, yeah, I got the, uh... I... Okay, make up a song uh, that encompasses this whole show. Everything that goes on in our show. Let him sing. Give us a, give us a song we all know. Yeah. Let, let him make one up about the show. All right. Go. What's it all about? <laughs> What's that all about? Makes me Tory Spelling. What's that all about? What's that all about? I'm pretty high. Jim shits on the couch. In his pants And Eddie concurs I concur And Lindsay's tits Are no longer around <laughs> But they're still round What's that all about? Makes me want to scream and shout What's that all about? Why was I born? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, Thank you, everybody. Please listening. join us on our normal things. Jim and Eddie at Yahoo.com, Stitcher, <laughs> iTunes, on our web pages. Thank you very much, everyone. Good night.